So I was trying to come up with a number for this mega fave number playlist that James Grimes started, and I had absolutely no ideas. I think that there tend to be shape mathematicians and number mathematicians. And as you may have guessed, I am firmly planted in the shape mathematician camp. If somebody asked me to make a video about my favorite shape, I would have way too many options to choose from. But my favorite number? Not as easy. I've always shied away from really big numbers or really small numbers because they feel intangible, unattainable, and impossible to visualize. But determined to contribute something meaningful, I began brainstorming large numbers that I would enjoy talking about. My first thought was a Fibonacci number that was also a power of two. But after one minute of searching on the internet, I learned that there are none bigger than eight. This is actually a topic interesting enough for its own video, but that's for another day. Every other idea I thought about felt so contrived, like I was thinking of arbitrary properties and trying to find a number which matched. Feeling lost and stumbling through rabbit holes on the internet, I came across the frivolous theorem of arithmetic. Almost every natural number is very, very large. This is a kind of inside joke among mathematicians because it's so easy for us to forget that most numbers are impossibly big. Counteracting this propensity seems to be the purpose of this playlist. I realized that you can say something interesting about most small numbers. Either it's a power of two, or it's a Fibonacci, or it's prime, or it's the product of two primes, or it's a palindrome. The list goes on. So I thought, if you can say something interesting about most small numbers, you could probably say at least something about a really big number, even if the interesting thing is that the number is not interesting at all. I thought to myself, what if I make a completely random number, then it wouldn't feel contrived. And I will probably be able to say at least something about it. So this brings us here. Either this will turn out really cool, or it will be a total failure. But either way, I will have a new favorite number larger than 1 million. So I went out and found two decks of cards, then I made eight piles. King will be zero, ace will be one, and we have two through nine. Each pile will be a different digit of our randomly generated number. Then I went through and shuffled each pile. Okay, time to draw our number. Eight, zero, eight, four, Six, one, two, six. Hmm, okay, it's not too bad. I like how almost all the digits are even. Let's see if we can say anything special about 80,846,126. First thing to check is its prime factorization. We can find a calculator on the internet to do this. Okay, so we have three distinct prime factors, which is kind of interesting. It's obviously not a power of two. Let's see if it's a Fibonacci number. I wrote this simple Java program to test various attributes of a number. It can make a set of Fibonacci numbers, a set of powers of two, and check if a number is prime. So we'll just ask if 80,846,126 is in the set of Fibonacci numbers. Okay, not a Fibonacci. What about Lucas numbers? These start 2-1 instead of 1-1. One, one. And that's a no as well. So what are some other things that we can do? We could add the digits and look at the sum. That's eight plus zero plus eight plus four plus six plus one plus two plus six. And that's 35. Not super interesting. 
what about the alternating sum? 8 minus 0 plus 8 minus 4 plus 6 minus 1 plus 2 minus 6. And that's 13. Also not really relevant. Um, we could look at its binary representation. We could just do another Google search to find a calculator for this. And we'll just plug in the number right here. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't see any patterns here. So maybe we'll search the OEIS, the Online Encyclopedia of Integer Sequences. Looks like there are no results. And as a last resort, let's just try Google. Well, now they're just rubbing it in. <laughs> I mean, 80,846,126 looks pretty. The numbers have a nice rhythm. Okay, so maybe this isn't the most exciting or interesting number, but that's okay. It's now my favorite. I was curious about the other numbers in the piles, so I turned over the rest of the cards. Then I put them all into this set called Numbers, and checked if any were Fibonacci, Powers of Two, or Prime. Turns out one was Prime, and that was it. Kind of disappointing. This exploration got me thinking about how many numbers there are. I was looking for numbers with special characteristics, but I forgot how many mundane numbers are just floating around. In the everyday, we mostly come in contact with numbers less than 100, and we seldom even think about numbers above 1 million. But these small numbers are a mere drop in the infinite ocean of integers. There are just so many numbers, and most of them are not interesting. And I mean, we're only talking about whole numbers here. If we add in rationals, irrationals, transcendentals, and many more, the ocean becomes unfathomably big. It's crazy to think that there may be patterns that are still unknown, treasures hidden deep, deep down, so far beneath the surface that they may never be discovered. I hope that you all enjoyed this adventure. If you have a really cool mega fave number, something maybe better than mine, you should make a video about it. Post it with the hashtag MegaFaveNumber and with MegaFaveNumber in the title. And make sure to check out all of the other videos in the playlist. Until next time, keep exploring.